Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the 4.7's Maelstrom MXS standby. Let's check it out. And guys, I just want to say I realize there's an echo. I know it's really bad. This is a temporary space. I just moved into this house and um, I am building a dedicated YouTube video making space that's not done yet. So until then, I'm in a big echoey space that I can't really help. I'll try to clean it up and post the best I can. So now that's all the way, let's look at everything that comes in the box with the Maelstrom MXS. Here's an owner's manual, a couple Spare O-rings. It comes with some alternate switch buttons right here. An opaque, black, and another blue. This right here is a 3D printed switch tool. Yes, it does come with an inductive charging base with a USB type A to type C charging cable. Now let's put everything off to the side here and I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Maelstrom MXS standby from 4.7s. Now guys, I have quite a few flashlights from 4.7s, but this one right here just might be my very favorite for interiors or just inside of a house, period. And I'll get to why that is very shortly, but first let's start talking about some of the features here. So the Maelstrom MXS has a maximum output of 1700 lumens and has a maximum throw of 280 meters, which is plenty for what this light is actually designed for. Now, let me give you guys a look right down the barrel at that Nichia 144A emitter right there. Now that has a color temperature of 4,000 Kelvin and a 90 plus CRI. The light out of these four seven lights are beautiful. It has five different lighting modes and everything is operated with this electronic side switch right here that works very, very well. Now let's take a look at this battery here. This tail right here is locked. You can't get in through there, but when you start to unscrew it, you can see it unscrews right about there, almost in the center. And the battery here is a 5,500 milliamp hour, 26650 lithium ion rechargeable battery. Now this is a standard 26650. So you can either externally charge this if you want, or you can use the included inductive charging base right here. Now I can't really imagine why you would want to use anything other than this charging base right here, because on this body here, there is no USB ports or anything like that. Basically, it's made to just sit right here in the charging base and charge. And while I have the light open, you can see on the head there is no spring, but near the tail there, you can see a spring. Hopefully, it's really dark in there and my lights are in a weird position, but trust me, there is a spring down there, no spring here. All right, so now let's take a look at this body here. This light is absolutely beautiful in this blue. This is a 6061 T6 aluminum body with a type three hard anodized finish. Not only does this light look high quality, but in the hands, it just feels high quality. The grip on this light feels fantastic and you can see around these rings, you can see the knurling around those rings and right here, on the head of the flashlight right under this bezel. And speaking of that bezel, I'll give you a close up of that crenellated bezel right there. Not very sharp at all, but this is not a tactical flashlight, but I still like the fact that there is some sort of crenellated bezel right there. Now let's talk about the IP rating here. It is rated IPX8. The X means that dust proofing wasn't tested, but the eight means it is submersible in up to six feet of water indefinitely. So that's very, very nice. And regarding the body here, that's basically it. So let's talk about the dimensions. All right, so the Maelstrom MXS comes in at 5.6 inches long and has a diameter of 1.8 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 11.4 ounces. So you might be saying 11.4 ounces, that's pretty hefty. And you are right, but this is not an everyday carry flashlight. This light is specifically made to sit inside of your house, your bedroom, your garage, on standby in this charging base, just waiting for a power outage or just to grab it and use it very quickly and reinsert it into that charging base. And this charging base is really what makes the MXS standby so special. Because right now you can see this flashlight is off, but when I insert it, into the base here, you can see that red LED start to glow. And obviously the battery was close to being 100% because now it's glowing green right there. And yes, that LED is shining through that translucent side switch right here. And the way this flashlight works with this inductive charging base is the reason why I say this flashlight should be in everybody's home for emergency purposes only, especially in your bedroom or garage, because when you wanna use this flashlight, right now it's basically in standby mode. So when I lift it off, 
the charging base right here, it activates into moonlight mode. Now, whenever you lift it from the base, it always activates moonlight mode. And to me, that might be the biggest negative of this flashlight, not being able to adjust moonlight, low, medium, or high when you lift it off the charging base. I can see why four sevens did it because if this is in your bedroom and it's at night and you don't wanna bother anybody, it just goes automatically to the lowest setting, which is fine, but if I'm not bothering anybody, I want to be able to adjust that to maybe low or medium. But as of right now, the MXS, it only activates into moonlight. But I love this part right here. When you're done with the flashlight, insert it right back into the base, turns right off, starts charging again. Now, just that feature alone is super convenient and highly functional. I absolutely love it. But what makes this light really special is if the power goes out. So I'm just gonna unplug the charging base from my power source right here. And look, instantly activates the flashlight. So why is this important? So if you have a power outage in your house, you don't have to go searching around, fumbling around for a flashlight. As soon as the power goes out, the flashlight activates. This is a beacon in your room. You know automatically where to go to grab this flashlight. I love it. So those two features right there with this charging base make this MXS standby Maybe my favorite flashlight for indoors I've ever had. All right, so now let's talk about the five lighting modes. Everything is activated and controlled with this electronic side switch right here. And this side switch does feel very nice. It feels very, very rubbery, very grippy. And the side switch does have a nice click to it. You hear that? All right, so to activate the flashlight, just give it a short press on, and then to turn it off, another short press turns it right off. So the five lighting modes are moonlight, low, medium, high, and burst. So to switch those modes, first turn it on, press and hold, there's moonlight, low, medium, and high. And it stops right there on high if you continue holding that side switch down. If you let the side switch go and press and hold again, it will go in reverse from high, medium, low, to moonlight right there. And you can continue doing that as long as you let go and press and hold that side switch down. Let it go, press and hold again, and we'll go in reverse. Yes, it does have a memory, so if I turn it off, turn it right back on, it remembers the last mode it was on. It does have an instant access to moonlight. From off, press and hold, goes right to moonlight. And it does have an instant access to burst from off, double click and there is our 1700 lumen burst mode. You can do that from off and you can do that from on as well. So double click. So you have instant access to moonlight and burst at all times. I love it. And yes, it does feature a lockout mode. Just quickly press the side switch five times. Five and it should flash and now we are locked out. No go. And to unlock, you guessed it, just press it five more times, it'll flash, and now it's back. All right, so now let's take a look at the lumens and runtime. So Moonlight is five lumens, has a runtime of 250 hours. Low is 50 lumens, has a runtime of 40 hours. Uh, medium is 350 lumens, has a runtime of six hours. And high is 1,000 lumens, and you get two and a half hours of runtime. So the mode spacing here is decent from 530, 350, and 1000. Um, I do wish Moonlight was one lumen, but five lumens, I'll take it. And that high mode is where you're gonna spend most of your time with this flashlight anyways. In fact, indoors, that 1000 lumens is almost too much. And you're gonna see that when I do my beam test indoors here in just a little bit. Now that maximum burst mode is 1700 lumens. You get a runtime of 2.4 hours, but only 30 seconds of that is going to be your burst mode. After 30 seconds, it's going to ramp down to high, and that's where you get that remaining 2.4 hours of runtime. So I really give 4.7's props for actually putting that right on their website and not claiming that this gets 2.4 hours of 1700 lumens. All right, guys, now it's time for the beam test. I'm gonna start indoors here because face it, this is going to be used indoors probably 99% of the time. And just in case you guys wanna take this outside in your backyard, I will go outside and show you what this looks like in my backyard. All right, so I'm standing here in the farthest corner of my house here, and that little glow right there is the computer screen where I was recording my videos, so turn it on. That is Moonlight right there. So you can see what that's doing. You can see that beautiful Nietzsche emitter right there with that 4,000 Kelvin color temp. 90 plus CRI, it is absolutely beautiful. 
the light that comes out of these four sevens flashlights with those Nichia emitters, gorgeous. So let's go to low. It's 300, or sorry, 50 lumens. And you can see what I'm talking about, just bouncing off these white walls here. Even low is plenty of light. So let's go to medium. That's 350 lumens. If I point it straight up, and that's one beautiful thing about this flashlight here, is this is meant to be tail standing. That light, sorry, that tail right there is just super flat. Put it in the charging base, but if I need to, I can just put that right there. Lights up everything around me. I absolutely love it. I love tail standing my lights. And then let's go to high. Oh, sorry. Let me redo this. There is high right there. So high 1000 lumens. Go. Moonlight, low, medium, high. So high, 1000 lumens. I just had to double check just to make sure. So let me walk around here. Yes, I still am unpacking here. I have boxes everywhere. I'm not gonna be recording videos in this space for too much longer, hopefully, but it's what I have to work with right here. And you can guys, you guys can see that hot spot. If I point it right there, you can see that hot spot. And it is not the floodiest beam I've seen, but the perimeter right there is fairly decent. It's got a nice sharp outer edge to that perimeter. So I'm not having any issues seeing what I need to see here. But that hot spot, look at that. Very, very nice. So that's what it looks like indoors. So let's take, actually, I forgot to do burst. Let's do burst real quick. Boom, there's 1700 lumens. Now this should step down within 30 seconds, but I'm not gonna let it step down in here. I'm gonna take this outside and uh, let's show you burst mode, high and burst mode outside. Let's go. All right, so here I am outside. I already have it on moonlight, low, medium, medium, hitting those trees without a problem. Very nice. And there is high. And once again, I'll put up the distance between me and that structure right there and those back trees. And you can just see, I mean, I, I said inside that this isn't super floody, which it isn't, but the perimeter is very, very wide. You can see it has a nice hot spot with a very nice perimeter. And let's go to burst right there. So there's 1700 lumens. Point it straight up right at the trees. So gives you a nice idea if you have to take this outside and maybe go in your backyard real quick or whatever, even though I believe that this is an interior light only. It's not an everyday carry flashlight, that's for sure. It's not a tactical flashlight. This is an emergency flashlight that should just be in your bedroom, really, I think that would be the best place for it. it would just be in a bedroom or as a very high-end utility flashlight for a garage or whatever. If you just need instant light, take it off the charging base, boom. Um, I say high-end because this flashlight is not cheap. But we'll go over that when um, I go over my final thoughts. But what do you guys think of this beam? I absolutely love it. I love the color temperature. I love niche emitters and uh, I just saw it step down there. So uh, like I said, about 30 seconds of that burst mode is all you're gonna get, but I think that's all you need. This 1000 lumens is doing a great job. So let's go back inside. All right, so my final thoughts on the Maelstrom MXS standby from 4.7s. I wasn't lying when I said this is my new favorite interior flashlight, maybe ever. The fact that you can just Put this flashlight right here in this charging base, starts to charge, and it's always at 100% for whenever you just lift it off or if there's a power outage 
And the fact that this can just be a beacon in the corner of your room if there's ever a power outage makes this invaluable as an emergency flashlight, in my opinion. I think the mode spacing is great, even though I would like to see a one lumen moonlight mode, I think five lumen moonlight is perfectly acceptable. And I do like that it has a simple UI. Um, Four Sevens is known for having very complicated UIs if you're not used to the Android system. So I really shouldn't say complicated because generally the UI is pretty simple, but uh, you can choose between six different lighting modes. Uh, you can program it certain ways. So that could get a little complicated if you're not used to it, but not the MXS here. It's very, very easy. One press on, one press off, hold it down to switch modes. Love it. I think the light is very high quality, typical of four sevens and Prometheus lights. Feels very, very nice to hold it in your hands. I do like the side switch here. It feels very clicky. And I like the fact that they give you extra switches right here. This clear, this opaque black and an extra blue one. I like that. Basically, I love everything about this flashlight. Now, there are a few small negatives I should mention. One negative I already mentioned, I wish you can program what mode the flashlight goes in when you lift it off the charging base. Now it automatically goes to moonlight, which is great. I just wish there was a way to program other modes such as low or medium if you want that. Another negative is the price. This is a very pricey light at 185 bucks. Now, if you're familiar with four sevens in Prometheus, that price tag might not shock you because they have some very, very expensive high-end lights. So when I saw 185, I was sort of expecting it. But to non-flashlight people, that 185 is going to be sticker shock and maybe turn a lot of people off, which would be a shame because I truly do like this flashlight. Um, if it was more affordable, I would have one in almost every room in my house. Well, maybe not every room, bedroom, living room, kitchen, garage basement, almost every room. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the four sevens Maelstrom MXS standby? Now, if you want to check this out for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. I don't want to yell because it's going to echo. And go!